Hello everybody, Trainer Joe here. Welcome to Facebook Live. Today we're talking about a key ingredient to your success. Are you missing it? Are you missing this key ingredient? Proverbs 27.17 says, As iron sharpens iron, so a friend sharpens a friend. Are you getting the help you need from others? Many of us tend to avoid this, and I'm kind of that way too. My wife will oftentimes say, hey, why don't you call uh, so-and-so? Why don't you call Kevin to help you put up this screen door, storm door? Because it's probably going to take you all day like it did last time. And I'm like, I don't need no help. I don't want no help. I can do this by myself. I want to do it by myself. That's the way we kind of are. I don't want any help. Well, I got it up. I got the screen door up. Didn't need any help. Took me a long time, but I did it. We like to do things by ourselves sometimes. But if I can't get it done and that door's sitting there day after day, I'll ask for help, right? If you're reasonable and you really want that door put up, you're going to ask for help. I need help with my business. I've had help with my health. I've gotten help with my budgeting, my marriage, my spiritual condition, shoulder issues, and I've hired people, paid people. I need help. I get help. Sometimes I should have got it sooner. Not perfect, but we need to get the help. That shows we're serious, doesn't it? When somebody's serious and it's not working for them, they get help. Have you ever decided you were going to start working out so you talked to a friend and you all decided yeah we're every morning 6 a.m we're going to go for a jog and suddenly your friend comes in with these excuses well i didn't feel good this morning and my kid was sick and something happened to the hair and there and something they ain't coming anymore lots of excuses showing up means you're in you're on the team and once we stop showing up, we stop with the accountability, we stop coming to the group. A lot of times it means we just want to continue staying the way we are rather than making the change that we said we wanted to make. Prove you care by coming back, by staying with the group. Sometimes though we're embarrassed because it's not going well. In my 21 day transformation groups, we might have we had 25 people in our last one over at Strong Shop. And then I give them an opportunity when we're about to end. I say, who wants to sign up for the next one? We had 19 out of the 25 say, I want to come back for the next group. They're starting to get it. I do better when I've got other people around helping me, encouraging me, sharpening me. I was working with one guy once and we were working out together every week, a couple times a week. And he said, you know, Joe, he said, I'm just, I'm embarrassed. You know, he's 50 years old. He said, I'm embarrassed how little I'm able to bench press. I said, well, the only person that ought to be embarrassed is sitting at home on the couch. You're here doing it. And then another friend of mine, she's a physician. She said, uh, a lady came to her wanting to get in better shape, but she was concerned that when she would go to the gym that everybody would be looking at her. And my doctor friend said, I got news for you. Ain't nobody looking at you and me when we go to the gym. You wish. People don't care that much about you, how you're doing. Like a lot of times we think they do and that we're embarrassed about it. You can just show up. Ain't nobody care. You just need to show up and do it. Quit worrying about it. thinking they care. For one, it shouldn't matter. And the other, they really don't. I don't mean to be cynical there, but that's pretty true. They ain't looking at you and me. Be ashamed of the sin, but don't be ashamed to repent. Get back in there and get with it. You can do this. You probably need help. Hey, you're past, I don't need no help. Uh, yeah, you do. It's been 10 years. You've been overweight for 10 years. Nothing's changed. You haven't worked out more than five times in the past year. You need help. It's time for you to get off your high horse thinking nothing quite irritates me like the many, many people that I hear say this. Well, I know what to do. Yeah, and you don't do it. 
if you're serious, you'll ask for help. The little game, well, I know what to do, like that means something, is pretty meaningless. Proverbs 18.1 says, He who separates himself seeks his own desire. We, we get away from everybody else because we want to do what we want to do. If I'm around other people that are trying, that are working, that are doing it, are going to encourage me, I'm, I'm in. You ain't in. When you leave everybody else and you're on your own, doing your own thing, it's showing you really don't care like you act like you care. I don't, that's just the way I look at it. Am I wrong there? No, I'm not wrong. Hey, I'd love to help any of you that need help. It's what I do. Most people struggle with weight loss. I walk you through a process that teaches you to look at food and weight loss in a whole new way so you can lose weight and keep it off. So reach out to me if you need some help. Happy to help you. I'm Trainer Joe, helping you train your brain and transform your body.